Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.57 from Sadiku book. So this is the problem. Obtain the Tevenin and Norton equivalent circuit at terminals AB for the circuit in figure 4.123. Okay, maybe first thing first, we need to find out the Tevenin resistance, which we can find out without modifying the circuit. So in this case, that will be equal to VAB. But then let's make this bottommost node here as our ground so the voltage here will be zero and in this case this is the same as VA right VAB or the Tevenin voltage is the same as VA and VA is that not there but I still need one more node to solve this circuit which is this one which is VX from the ground okay so we'll have VX from here and this is 50 volt from the ground so we'll have 50 and now let's assume the direction of the current let's assume this going to the right this going down this going to the right this going down and this is going up so we can solve for VA by using KCL at VA and VX let's start by doing KCL at VX KCL at VX KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. And the only current that goes in is this one. And that is 50 minus Vx divided by 3. And then all the other currents is going out. This is Vx over 6. So we will have Vx over 6. And then this one. That will be Vx minus Va divided by 2. And I think we can multiply both sides by 6 to get rid of all the denominator here. 3 and 6 will cancel into 2. So we'll have 100. And then we will have minus 2Vx here. And then 6 and 6 will cancel each other. So we'll have Vx. And then we will have 2 and 3 will cancel each other. So we'll have 3Vx minus 3Va. Good. Now we'll have 1 plus 3 plus 2. That will be 4 plus 2. That will be 6Vx. 6Vx. And then this is Va, not Vx. This is Va. Good. So we'll have 6Vx minus 3Va. And let's put this 100 to the right hand side. So we'll have 100 here. And I think this is the first equation of the circuit here. Let's save this as equation number one. And now let's do another KCL, but this time at Vx. I mean Va. KCL at Va. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and there are two currents that goes in here, this one and that one. This one, that will be Vx minus Va divided by 2. And then this current that goes in is 0.5 Vx, or I can write it as Vx over 2. Good, and now for the current that goes out, we have this one, and that current is Va minus 0, which is Va, divided by 10. Good, now let's multiply both sides by 10, and we will have 5Vx minus 5Va, 5Va. And then plus, we will have 5Vx. And that will equal to Va. Okay, we will have 10 Vx. And then minus 6 Va. All of that will equal to 0. And let's save this as equation number 2. We have two equation and two variables here. Equation number 1 and number 2. We can solve for Vx and Va. Let's set our calculator as equation solver. And that is number 5. Good, two variables is number one. So we will have this one, six minus three and then 100. Good, and then we will have 10 
minus 6 and 0. And then we will have Vx is equal to 100. So Vx is equal to 100. And what is Va? Va is equal to the y value, right? So I'll have 166.67. 166.67. And the unit will be volt. And remember that VTH is equal to VA, so this is our VTH. Let's keep that. So VTH is equal to 166.67 volt. And that is good. Now our task is to find out the RTH. Let's save this value here and clean up this uh calculation first okay let's find out the tevenin resistance here so let's find out the rth find rth but we have a dependent current source here so we need to put dummy source here maybe let's put one volt voltage source here one volt and we can find out the current that goes there here so we will have this current here so let's name that as i1 there right uh, then we can calculate the Tevenin resistance so rth is the voltage here one volt divided by the current that goes there so the current that goes there i think we will have uh i1 there yeah take a look at that because this is a one node so the voltage here is ab and the current will go there right and that is what we are looking for but we also need to turn off the dependent voltage source, which is this one here. Okay, so we need to draw that shapes here. Okay, that is good. And we replace this with short circuit here. Okay, that is good. Now what can we do from here? This bottommost node is our ground, so the voltage here will be zero. We know that Va here is one volt, so this is Va that equal to one. And so we need to find out what is this value here. That is Vx, right? Vx. And so we need to do KCL at Vx. Let's do exactly that. KCL at Vx. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, I already have this current goes in, so I will have it like this. The two will goes out like that. So we will have this one here, Va minus Vx divided by 2. Va minus Vx divided by 2 and that will equal to Vx over 6 and plus Vx over 3 Vx over 6 from this one and Vx over 3 from this one good now let's plug in 1 Va here so we'll have 1 is this part here and let's multiply both sides by 6 so we will have 3 minus Vx, 3 minus 3 Vx. And then we will have Vx, and then we will have 2 Vx. Therefore, we will have 3, and then on the right hand side, I will have 6 Vx. We will have Vx is equal to 0 0.5 volt. But we are not need 
we are not finding Vx, we just need to find out I1. What is I1? Remember, I1 is Va minus Vx divided by 2. What is Va? Va is 1. Vx is 0 0.5. So, I have 0 0.5. And then divided by 2. This will be 0 0.5 divided by 2. And so, we'll have 0 0.25. The unit here is ampere, so we can plug in into this formula. So I'll have 1 over 0 0.25. Therefore, we will have our RTH. Our RTH is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.24, so that will be 4 ohm. So we will get the the Tevenin voltage and the Tevenin resistance but from here we can also get the Norton uh, current. Norton current is just Vth divided by the resistance right and that will be 166.7 divided by 4. Let's use our calculator for this 166.67 divided by 4 is 41.67. Okay, so I'll have 41.67. And the unit here is ampere. So this is our I Norton, 41.67 ampere. Now what can we do is wrapping them up from the value of VTH, RTH, and I Norton. Let's clean up the board first and let's draw the equivalent circuit. Okay, from here we can draw the Tevenin equivalent. So the Tevenin equivalent is this circuit here. We'll have 166.67 volt. And then a resistor that is in series with it. And the value of the resistor is just 4 ohm here. And this is point A and this is point B. This is for the Tevenin. And then for the Norton, let's use this current source here. And that will be 41.67. Good. And this will be in parallel with 4 ohm. So this is point A and this is point B. We'll have 4 ohm. This is Norton. So that is all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.